North American battery site search is on, more range at BMW, Tesla's rear lighting defect, and more. Good afternoon, I'm Kristen Strakalaitis filling in for Laura Harris. Welcome to Auto News Now. Coming up, more on those headlines for you, but first, our lead story. Companies are reporting double-digit increases for November U.S. sales. When compared to last year, the Hyundai and Kia brands surged, setting November records. Hyundai soared 43% and Kia rose 25%. Over at Toyota, the brand saw deliveries rise 12%, though Lexus fell 4.3%. Mazda volume rising 31%. Stay up to date with November U.S. sales at autonews.com. Moving to Canada, VW is searching the country for its first battery cell factory outside of Europe. From VW's LinkedIn post, CEO Oliver Bloom says the automaker is committed to investing across the entire region. Volkswagen Group and its battery subsidiary PowerCo, along with the Canadian government, will identify a site for a PowerCo factory in Canada. Half the cost, better for the planet, and extended range. That's what BMW is promising for its new lithium-ion cell battery. The German automaker's Gen 6 battery is under development. According to BMW, the battery delivers 30% more driving range compared to the current generation. The Gen 6 battery's lead developer says its cylindrical shape maximizes energy density, and that contributes to a decrease in cost. It's also more sustainable. BMW says the cells will be produced with renewable energy and cut production-related carbon emissions 60%. An over-the-air software update is arriving on more than 435,000 Tesla vehicles. The update addresses a rear lighting issue made at its factory in China. China's State Administration for Market Regulation says Model 3 sedans and Model Y crossovers may be affected by the issue, which could raise the risk of a crash in extreme cases. Finally, there are 150 orders for the world's first solar car. Production from Dutch startup Lightyear is set to begin at a rate of one vehicle a week at a facility in Finland. The startup's goal is to produce 1,000 models of the Lightyear Zero. The first model is an electric vehicle that generates power directly from sunlight. And according to the company, the Lightyear 2 is expected to go into production by 2025. That's all we have today for Auto News Now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Auto News TV and online at autonews.com for updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Have a great night. See you next time.